everybody, it's me, Pastor On. Hey, it's me, Amy. And I just can't believe it's the last day of January already. Where has the time gone? I know, I've been having such a great time learning all about responsibility with you, Amy. It's so good. Me too. I've also been having a swell time worshiping with you, On. Wait, do you want to sing and dance with two more songs? Two more songs. Mm, duh. Great. Here we go. I'm not helpless. I have purpose to change the world around me one step at a time. I want to be the best me. you with 
trust you with my heart. Air five, are you ready? Big word time. Hey on, I'm in. Ah, oh, gotta get some coffee. Right, be right back. Oh, that coffee is delicious. Good job on the coffee. Oh, uh, I'm ready for today's big word. Are you ready for today's big word? I'm ready for today's big word. Today's big word is, suppose you can be trusted with something very little, then you can also be trusted with something very large. Luke 16.10. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little, then you can also be trusted with something very large. Luke 16.10. I'm gonna go get some myself some more coffee. Uh, I got an empty cup here, I need some more coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, Kids at Cornerstone. We got one more important rule of life to share with you today, just one more. And it comes from the book of Ephesians in the Bible. It was originally written by a guy named Paul who was an apostle. And it's about being responsible in the words we choose to speak. So let's go into the so-and-so show to not only hear about it, but to see how they speak about it. Hello, I like to call hat me all the learning degrees. No, no, no. I call hat me all the learning aid. No, 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 no. Uh, he wants a tall hack with a lemonade, and I would like a South Coast salad with a grilled chicken and a lot of water noise. A lot of water. Yeah. I can never understand what they're saying. Me neither. I don't get it. Hello. How's it going? Ciao. Konnichiwa. Welcome to a brand new so-and-so show. I'm Steven. And I'm Lawson, and we are talking about one of the most powerful things in the world today. Ooh, Niagara Falls. No. Your Aunt Margaret's perfume? Also no. My bicep? Definitely no. Come on. I'm talking about our words. Ah, yes, our words. They are powerful things that we have to control at all times. Correct, my friend. So I thought maybe we should play a game. A game of words that's been played on this show before. You don't mean. <gasps> the secret word. The game when you say the secret word, you get body slammed by a wrestler. Yeah, power, 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 power. Or you get baked beans poured on your head. Or slime. Lots of slime. Oh, ah, ah. Why would we play that game? I've been assured that nothing will be dumped on our heads and no one will body slam us. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. But just in case, it's probably best if we don't say the secret word. Inside this sealed envelope is the secret word. Is that gonna happen every time? Maybe. Oh. So, neither one of us knows what the word is, but it's an ordinary word that we use every day. And when we say the word, we get the consequences. Hey, that's my sound effect. We can share. Fine. Now, it's time to show the world what the word is. You will know the word, and we will not. Everyone got it? Perfect. We'll just continue on with the rest of the show. And if we say the secret word, we get the consequences. Let's do this, Steven. Did you know that according to the internet, there are currently 171,476 English words in use? Really? No, I did not. And did you also know that there's over 260,000 Italian words? Mamma mia. Did you also know that there are over 1,100,376 Korean words. Wow, that is crazy. And to me, you know what's even crazier? There's only 93,000 Spanish words. 
I knew I should have taken Spanish in high school. What'd you take? French. Ooh, 130,000. Wow. What'd you take? A Swedish. 600,000. Swedish? Yeah, I wanted to know what the chef from the Muppets was saying. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Like rotting fish and moldy tangerines, but with a hint of rose sprinkled in. Yeah, I'll take your ah. I'll take your word for it. Um, I guess I guess we know what the secret word is. Oh, huh? really? We do. What is it? It's oh no 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 no! You're not gonna give me like that. Right. I know. You're too smart for something that simple. That's very true. By the way, do you do you want a Twizzler? Okay. Yeah. Nice try. Yes, I do. That. Was a close one. Almost got brought down by Twizzler. I'll get you before the show's over. <laughs> Not likely. I'm in complete control of my word. D -d -d words. Words. Uh huh. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, you know, just getting shot in the face with stink spray by an enormous skunk. That sounds nice. We were playing the secret word. Game. Oh, gotcha. What's the word? Okay. Oh, man. No, 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 oh, no, yeah, sorry! <sighs> sorry. Well, what are we talking about today, Kellen? Choosing your words carefully. Great. Take it away. So today's Bible story is actually a verse that was written in the letter by Paul to the Jesus followers in the city of Ephesus. You can read the letter yourself in a book called Ephesians. And like I said, this verse is all about words. Paul wrote, don't let any evil talk come out of your mouth. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. It's really crazy to think about that being written 2,000 years ago. And it's still something we need to hear today. Sometimes we use words that are hurtful. And we lash out in anger and hurt people's feelings. But Paul wrote that we should use words that build others up and meet their needs. Words that are helpful. We all have the same words to choose from. It's up to us to decide which ones we're going to use. We can decide if we're going to tease or to praise someone. Do your words harm or do they calm in a situation? Is what you're saying rude or are you trying to be courteous? Are your words out for revenge or are they offering forgiveness? It's really your choice. You can allow your words to get out of control and be hurtful, or you can use your words wisely and be helpful. Is it always going to be easy? No way. But can we do it with God's help? No doubt. That is great, Kellen. Thank you for using your words to teach us that lesson. Yeah, Kellen, you're the best. Thanks. And you guys are AOJ. Uh, I think you mean A-OK, -okay, Kellen. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh, oh, it smells so bad! Oh, no, it's wet, too! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll see you next time. I wouldn't miss it. Bye. Uh, what are you doing? Trying to think of what words to say next. Here, I'll help you. Reveal the question! Why do your words matter? Well, as someone who has to constantly monitor what comes out of his mouth, I can tell you that when you don't control your words, people get angry, feelings get hurt, and you're never allowed to go to that Applebee's ever again! And on the flip side, words can encourage people and make them feel better. To paraphrase Spider-Man's uncle, words are powerful, and with that power, comes great responsibility. Wow. That's really good, Lawson. Mm -hmm. That's like 
a rule for life. Ooh. Use your words wisely. And whatever you do, don't say the secret word. Because it really stings. You really stink. Hey, your words hurt me. Sorry, man. We both stink. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was the So and So Show. Bye, everybody. We'll Woo see you next time. It really smells bad. The I know. smell lingers. Most people poop their pants. Most people poop their pants. <laughs> Real men foam paper flames. Real men what? Real men foam paper flames. <laughs> Never mess with minty mouthwash. Bless you. <laughs> the moon. The moon creaks in your window. The moon creaks in your window? Yes! <laughs> Paddle, possums, Paddle. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That's it! How'd you get that? Our words are powerful. We remember the things people say to us. So let's make sure that we use words that make people feel good, not tease or hurt them. And if we mess up and say something we wish we hadn't, let's be brave enough to use words that make things better. Words like, I'm sorry, I was wrong, please forgive me. Now, let's pray and ask God to help us. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us our, our, our mouth, our lips, our tongue, our teeth, um, so that we can say and speak words that are good and edifying and that are kind and respectful, not just to the people around us, but to anybody that encounters us. May you remind us to love like the way you love us because it is a good love. Amen. Cornerstone parents and caregivers, have you checked out our Cornerstone SF Kids webpage and all the cool fun activities on there? If not, please do. We update it every week with fresh content just for you. We would love for everyone to join us. The more, the merrier. Go ahead and share this video to your friends, your family, your stuffed animals, to your burrito lovers, to your plant lovers, whomever they are. This is a great way for you to get connected with Cornerstone. My cup is empty, but my heart is full. I'm so glad you're all here. I also want you to know there are many ways to stay connected with us. Wait, let me go get my glasses. I got my glasses. So stay in touch with us. We don't want you to miss out on anything. Text parent link to 97,000 so you can be added to our parent info group text. Join our Facebook group at Kids Ministry Parents where you can have all the extra fun and keep up to date with the latest changes and exciting additions. And subscribe to our weekly newsletter at cornerstonesf.org forward slash kids box. All right, praise him and praise this coffee. Delicious. Who made this coffee? Ooh. Bye. I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye! Oh, um, hey, a bye to you too as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you later, bye! Hey, it's very bright in here. You know what, it's also very cold in here, so I got my very Brini in here. You know, also, I just want to say, it is a very blessing to be with you here at Kids of Cornerstone. So I want to say, we love you very much. Bye. Very blessings. Very blessings. <laughs> <laughs> very blessings to you, very much. <laughs> We're done. My cup floweth over. I've got all the coffee I need. Uh, live in a vida, live in a vida loca. Come on, people. Come on, I can do it faster than this. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> Okay. I'm doing MC Hammer like Amy. Da 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 da. Can't touch us. Da 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 da. Okay.
five, six, seven, eight. I said a boom, chicka boom. Tell me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way. Tell me why. Well, tell, hey, hey, on, how do the words go to that song again? Because it's very sunny in here, so I got my berry glasses, my berry beanie, and I want to say I'm very, very happy that I'm with you for here at Kids at Cornerstone. Oh, hey, PT Puppet. I, uh, I really like your jacket. Hey, thanks, Stefan. You'll have to thank Levi Lou for letting me borrow it. Such a good jacket. I feel so comfortable in it. Thanks for letting me borrow your jacket, Levi Lou. It fits perfectly. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Have a berry blessings for your berry Sunday at Berry Kids at Cornerstone. That didn't rhyme at all. I'm sorry. Bye! You're pretty funny, PT Puppet. Oh no, I'm probably the, I'm probably the funniest. And modest. <laughs>